consider, excuse me, when buying a home, but to make your move a smart one, it's important to figure out if the neighborhood you're considering will be a good fit for your needs. And joining us to discuss is Rogers Healy, the owner and CEO of Healy Global Relocation. Uh, Rogers, great to have you on. Uh, what factors should you consider when you're vetting a potential neighborhood? Sure, yeah, there's a lot of factors. And I think you obviously got to start with logic. And I think logic leads a lot of things, whether it's a school district, it's a budget, it's a type of home, but yeah, it, it's, it's hard. And it's an intimidating process, especially coming from a different city or a different state. And I can't imagine you know, a virtual tour where you have to just do it from your cell phone, but there's a lot of factors that go into it, but I would definitely lead with spending as much time in the neighborhoods you have interest in as possible. And realize that when you see properties, it's normally at a time of day like evening and the weekend. I would go during the weekday, go when people are gonna be there, whether there's a flight pattern overhead you didn't know about, or whether there's a carpool in the afternoon you didn't know about, you have to be familiar with everything going on in that neighborhood. And I would also encourage people that are visiting from out of town, stay at a boutique hotel close to that neighborhood so you get a feel for what the demographic is like, where the shopping is, where the retail is, where the hospital is, all these things, because that's gonna become your life, you know, as soon as you decide on that place being your home. Is it a good idea to visit a neighborhood a couple of times before making a decision? So, and should you consider visiting at certain times of the day? So I know you mentioned potentially staying in a boutique hotel, but is the idea, you know, so you could see it at night, also in the morning, you know, at various times? Yeah, and you know, and to kind of play off the lady that spoke before me, as a listing agent, you want to highlight all the great features of the home, which means you're not going to walk in and be like, here is where we have a single pane window, which means you can hear the, you know, whatever it is, the train or the airplane overhead, you, you want to make sure you get a real feel for it. So I would encourage people to go at times of day that are busy for the neighborhood. And I, and I do think staying at a hotel close to it is really crucial. Go to the local restaurant, go to the local, you know, pub, dive bar, et cetera, and just get a feel for the neighbors by talking to them. And I think by doing that, you just feel a sense of home. And you know, that's a, that's a feeling that you can't mimic, you can't replace, and it's either natural or it's not real estate agent help you vet a neighborhood and and i'm actually speaking with a little experience because um as asia and i were just discussing i recently purchased a home and i remember i was asking the the real estate agent a couple of questions and she was like I, i'm not allowed to answer that is there are there topics that are off limits how can you properly vet a neighborhood yeah, so realtors are political in a sense, but there's definitely fair housing questions that we have to, you know, we have to honor. But I, I think finding somebody that knows the neighborhood, whether they live in the neighborhood or they have, you know, significant experience is crucial because, you know, the saying goes, nobody knows your neighborhood better than your neighbor. And, you know, something that I've done since my career is every three years, I've moved to a different neighborhood that we specialize in for the past 18 years just to be able to speak from experience. And that's something that was not a fun process, but it gave me the ability to go speak you know, from, from living in that in that certain pocket. So I, I definitely think vetting the neighbor, vet, vetting the realtor out, see what they have to offer and ask them the questions that have nothing to do with price per square foot, but maybe, like I said, restaurants, retail, schools, proximity to the highway, like when is this, you know, pocket busier than others? That's the kind of stuff that an expert really needs to be able to give you their opinion on. It also, I'm sure, helps to chat with people who live in that potential neighborhood, right? Because they could give you a sense of what it's like to actually live there. Um, but sure. how do you even approach that? Like, do you just run into people in the store and say, what do you think of this neighborhood? <laughs> how does it work? You know, for a price as much as a property is going to cost you, I think you have to go and just kind of get yourself comfortable with what's uncomfortable, whether that means pulling over when someone's walking their dog and just being like, hi, I'm, I'm Rogers, I'm thinking about moving here. What do you think of the neighborhood? But you know, something that I encourage our clients to do is when they find a property that they wanna go purchase, go introduce yourself to the neighbors, literally. Ring the doorbell, knock on the door, I'm thinking about purchasing, and just get a feel, because obviously too, your direct neighbors are a really important part of making your house feel like a home. So yeah, just going to the extremes with, you know, with due respect, is something I would definitely encourage people to do. That's such an interesting idea. I never thought of it. Um, but I'll definitely yeah. be nice if anyone knocks on my door and, and wants to hear yeah. about the neighborhood. Um, Roger Seeley, owner and CEO of Healy Global Relocation. So great to have you on.